Sometimes people think that sweating a lot or sweating, in general, is not useful. Still, it has many less known benefits. Sweating is the body's natural response to heat, which helps to open skin pores and eliminate high body temperature. Although sweating is unpleasant for many people, it affects their social life and self-confidence and causes them embarrassment. It is benefits that we are going to be sharing with you 10 of them in this video. Stay tuned with us on the PARS Health TV channel. Number 10. Healing Wounds. A lot of research has been done on eccrine glands recently. There are many on the surface of the skin all over the body. Researchers at the University of Michigan discovered that these glands are the storage place for mature stem cells in the healing process. Number 9. Elimination of Toxins from the Body. What happens when we sweat? When sweating, the toxins in the body are removed through the skin's pores along with the sweat. Researchers believe that excess salt, cholesterol, and alcohol are removed from the body when sweating. That is why when we sweat, toxins are eliminated from the body. Number 8. Acting like an antibiotic. Sweating spreads many antibiotics over the surface of the skin. If our skin is injured by a small cut or scratch or a mosquito bite, the antibiotic substances are produced by the sweat glands. They are secreted by the skin, quickly and effectively destroying germs and invading agents. Number 7. The enemy of kidney stones. The pain of kidney stones is even worse than the pain of childbirth. Sweat glands significantly rid the body of toxins and dangerous pollutants. Those who consume a lot of fat and salt in their diet and do not empty their bladder regularly, urine retention, should be careful. Because they are at risk of getting kidney stones, Research shows that those who exercise regularly and drink water a lot can prevent the formation of kidney stones. Sweating during exercise makes the body need more water, and drinking a lot of water cleans the kidneys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the number 6 on our list. Number 6. Regular exercise stimulates sweat glands. For a big fight against diseases and obesity, we need to push ourselves into a new field of sports training, such as marathon sports, which require regular and intense training sessions. Because our body does not expect these exercises, it tries to cool itself down sooner. Therefore, the size of the sweat glands increases to meet the body's need for rapid cooling. Number 5. Removing pollutants. When pollutants such as bisphenol A, BPA, and diethylhexyl phthalate, DEHA, these substances are entering our living environment through new industries. Still, we cannot determine the extent of their impact on our health. Everyone knows that the presence of these chemicals is harmful to our health. Sweat glands significantly rid the body of these harmful substances and other dangerous pollutants. Even when these substances are not detected in blood or urine, our sweat effectively removes BPA. Number 4. Benefits for Brain. Before you think that picking up small dumbbells or a simple walk will make you happy, you should know that sweating after a heavier weight training or aerobic exercise can cheer you up. The amount of endorphins in your body is unique to you. Endorphins are also called the body's natural painkillers. By trying different sports, you can find out what kind of physical activity stimulates your brain sedatives. Number 3. Relieving Pain. Exercise-induced endorphins stimulate your brain stimulants and natural pain relievers. Once your body gets used to these natural pain relievers and your overall condition improves, you will find that you will need fewer painkillers and more sneakers. Did anyone know that running around a building can reduce the amount of pain? Exercise stimulates neurochemical pathways in the brain and produces endorphins, which act like pain relievers. Number 2. Getting rid of pimples. We think we don't get pimples after puberty. Due to hormonal changes, we will get pimples even in adulthood. Sweating will reduce the occurrence of these pimples. 
By opening the pores of the skin, sweating causes the pus and dirt in these pores to be released, which attracts bacteria and causes pimples. In order not to get pimples, you should wash your skin to remove these impurities from your skin. Otherwise, these impurities will enter the skin again, and you will get pimples. Number 1. Adjusting Body Temperature During the day, our body adapts to changes in the environment's temperature. Maybe your workplace is cold, the inside of your car is hot, or you are in menopause, etc., but don't worry. If your body's ventilation system works correctly, you will not be hot or cold. Regular exercise, which keeps the sweat glands in optimal shape, helps the body more easily regulate its own temperature based on the environment temperature. Sweating is not only unpleasant but also beneficial. The only thing that can upset you is its unpleasant smell, which also has a solution. Sweat itself does not smell bad, but not observing personal hygiene causes it to smell bad. Therefore, to not smell bad, you should take a bath regularly and keep your body clean. Also, wash your dirty and scented clothes regularly with water and detergent, and avoid wearing scented clothes. Although sweating is very beneficial for the body, people who sweat excessively and abnormally, even in cold weather and without physical activity, should see a doctor to treat their problem. Feel free to share your ideas and opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe to our channel. Are you looking for more amazing health-related videos? Don't forget to watch more of our videos on the left and right of your screen.